two, one, two, uh, uh, uh. Everybody. My name is Perry Smith. I'm here today at the Guitar World Studios and we're going to be talking to you uh, in this video about up-tempo guitar soloing in the jazz idiom. I am joined here with the wonderful bass player Matt Aronoff. Um, for some of you gearheads, I'll talk a little bit about the instrument I'm playing, the amp, my pedals. Uh, to start out, I got a Gibson ES-175. Uh, it was built in the 90s. And um, I've been playing this since then. It's a wonderful guitar. Um, and then I have a great amp here with me, the Henriksen Bud. Henriksen is a great jazz guitar amp company. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, they're based out in Colorado. Check them out. They have a really small model here called the Bud and uh, a bunch of other models of great amps to check out. On the ground here, I have my trusty Line 6 DL4. Uh, the TC Electronics Hall of Fame reverb pedal, the Ibanez Tube Screamer mini distortion pedal, and then my mini polytune as well, the most important pedal. So today, uh, as I said, we wanted to talk about tips for up-tempo jazz guitar soloing. Um, one of the hardest things to do, I feel like, on the guitar is to be comfortable when you're playing at a really fast tempo. Now, the first thing I wanted to mention, which I think is the most crucial point when it comes to performing up tempos is to stay relaxed. Um, it's, it's so important. Uh, if you try to force the notes fa to be faster by, your, by using strength, um, it's just not really going to happen. It's going to sound um, uh, not as smooth as, as it should be. So being relaxed is really the key. Uh, making sure that you don't have tension in your shoulders or in your face or in your hands. Is, is really important. So staying relaxed is, is, the, is the big key. Now the second thing I wanted to talk about is the details of how I use uh, my right hand and my left hand to develop some uh, faster uh, lines. And the first thing is with the right hand, uh, instead of using my entire forearm or my wrist to pick everything, I just use the joint on my thumb right here to articulate some of the notes, okay? So it's a little bit more of an efficient way to uh, pick the note instead of your entire arm or your, or your wrist. I'll give you a little demonstration. Okay, now you might also be noticing that I'm using my left hand to do hammer-ons and pull-offs as well. And that's a big part of increasing your speed. Um, and the way you want to practice this is really being deliberate with the hammer-ons and pull-offs. So when you strike down to hammer on a note, you really feel in your left hand that you're playing that and you're playing it in a rhythm that you want to be playing it in as well. It's super important to be really deliberate with the hammer-ons. Same thing with the pull-offs. Now, as you keep practicing this slowly, eventually, like anything else, the speed will come up. Okay, we're going to try uh, to play a little bit more of what we were starting with, the great standard, I Remember You, to demonstrate some of the techniques here of, of playing fast. Oh, and the last thing I wanted to say before we get into it is, uh, above all, when you're playing fast, make sure you follow your ear still, okay? Oftentimes guitar players, when they get in these fast situations, they just let their hands do all the work uh, and they're essentially letting the guitar play them. You still want to play the guitar. Follow your ear as you would on slower tempos when you're playing fast. It's really important. Here we go. One, 
two, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> guys thank you so much i hope that helped give you some new ideas for improving your speed on up tempo jazz guitar stuff <laughs>